Hi everyone, thank you so much for being patient uh, for this video. We've been looking at uh, women through the lens of God and now we are in the New Testament. Let me begin by reassuring every woman that God wants women to know that he values them a lot. The book of Matthew, the book of Matthew begins by talking about women in the genealogy of Jesus. It shares the genealogy of Jesus Christ. And in this genealogy, it's very precious to see women mentioned in it. This was a society in these days and age, in the Jewish society, that ranked women among the lowest in society. They were ranked among children and even slaves. But in the genealogy of Jesus Christ, we see Tamar mentioned Tamar was the daughter-in-law of Judah and a widow after losing her husband, but pretended to be a prostitute and slept with her father-in-law. In one of the clips, you will see us talk a little more about Tamar. Tamar is in the genealogy of Jesus. And then we have Rahab, whom the Bible calls a prostitute, who had faith in the God of the Jews and was grafted into the family of the Jews. She's also in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Then we see Ruth, a widower, a Moabite, who is redeemed and brought into the family of the Jews. She's also in the genealogy of Jesus. And then we see Uriah's wife, whose husband was killed by David after David slept with her. And also, out of this um, act, they conceived and she lost this baby. And finally, we see Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. Please note that she was not the mother of God. Mary was the mother of Jesus Christ. Mary was found to be pregnant through the Spirit of God. This genealogy reminds every woman or man that we are all sinners and we are all in need of God's grace. It then shows women that no matter your background, no matter your past, God, in this case, Jesus Christ, died for you and I. And lastly, it reminds every woman that if we open our hearts by faith in Jesus Christ, Jesus welcomes us into the body of Jesus Christ, and by faith we become part of the bride of Christ. And God himself changes our destiny, passing us from death to eternal life. Thank you so much. And this is an encouragement for every woman. It doesn't matter what has been written or what has been said or what has happened in our past. It is where we are now and how we open our hearts to God through Jesus Christ. That makes a difference. Our today and our tomorrow and our eternity. So thank you so much. And um, now we're just going to be seeing the stories of women as they meet Jesus. And we're going to see how Jesus impacts the life of women. And just have a glimpse of what it is like to be viewed through the eyes of God. Okay, thank you so much. God bless you.